I'm Antonio Naranjo, and I'm one of the composers and the songwriter on Detention Adventure. Since season one, this show has pushed everyone to make work that's better than they're capable of. From season to season, it's just grown and become much more robust and, 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 and complex as the show starts to understand what it is. Um, it started off as pretty orchestral, and which was, I mean, Joe said, like Back to the Future. I remember in season one that was what we were working with and like that's a pretty tall order to start with. Um, and then on top of that I, I, I started doing songs for specific uh, scenes and then as we moved into the second season it just got that much more as the show's production value raised and like as, as the kids started growing up it got more nuanced and more serious and more robust. And season two was was expanding like our, the musical horizons from not just score, but then like really starting to uh, incorporate song and make that a really big part of of the show. And even getting to the point where we started incorporating the cast and having them their voices, not only their faces and their characters, um, be those musical characters in the show as well. And then season three, <laughs> Joe just while finishing season two was like, we're making a musical. So, you, you, you're just gonna write all the songs from the scripts now? Yeah. And, and uh, which is, I think, completely new territory for everyone. But that's what the show is, is doing. Every season it's pushing everyone's limits further and, 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 and like I said, forcing everyone to, to draw out more of themselves and more of their individual talents to cumulatively make something that is more than the sum of its parts.